Hi, how do you fancy painting a raccoon in watercolour? Now let me show you some clips on my main watercolour video on how I painted this very cute raccoon. Let's get started. So using clean water, I'm going to wet the background first. I'm right, just using a size 6 brush here, that's all I'm using. Use whatever you've got, doesn't matter. So the good thing about watercolour painting is that you can mix the colours quite well. You can have just half a dozen colours and still make similar colours, it's not a problem. So wet the entire background, and you want to wet this probably two or three times. Now when you wet this, bring it down, see how I'm doing this by bringing the water towards the top of the head. This will act or create those little V shapes which you want for the, uh, for the fur. Okay, so do that when you're doing this. As I say, you'll have to come back up and wet it again because it will dry quite quickly. I'll leave that like that, I think, so it's got a bit of an effect on there. And probably a bit more down the side here as well, looking at where that goes. Now, again, I want to make sure it's a little bit dark around here because that's where we'll have those white hairs popping across. Just remember as well that this will dry about 50% lighter. And when it's dry, a cream consistency. I'm going to pop some of this just by dabbing just into the highlight area using the very tip of the brush and then a little bit more I'll start talking quietly when I concentrate, I do apologise a little bit more just around there just to there, don't overdo it so easy to overdo it and then around the outside or the inside of this edge of the eye just dab in place and the good thing about this as well is that when you put this colour in, you can flick up as well. Just kind of get some lines coming out towards the outside. Again, just a basic layer. That's all it is. And that should probably probably be about right there. I'll do the same thing like we did before. I'm going to soften those edges down. Line of water away. Start again. Yeah, the nose area around the. I'm not going to go underneath the nose, that's just saying that. Just while I'm back on camera with you. Just put a few lines in here. I know I need to soften these down though because it's really dark underneath, but as I said in the past, you need your dark to show light, so we do need some lines in here initially for the white to go over the top when we do add the white paint later on. You know, so without that, obviously we can't do it, it won't work. So add these in. Look in the directions again, you can see it's like a fan shape. Think of a clock face, the way it goes around. Imagine this being the centre of the clock, okay? And then bring the line stopping at the tree. If you find that tricky, and you end up going over into the tree, don't worry, not a problem, we can cover it up at a later date. Okay, you know, when we paint the tree, we can do that, that's not, not a problem at all. Or if you find it easier, start from the inside and pull out, okay? But you have to turn your paper around to do that, depends on obviously whether you're right or left-handed, as I said earlier on. So, <laughs> it does make a difference, it really does. Okay, now then, working around this eye. Now, we can see where the eyelid goes just there. Now, this needs to be a lot higher there, it needs to be about here. The way I'm judging this, I'm looking at the gap. So when you look at this gap here where it's dark, so I'll just darken that in a little bit so you can just see what I'm looking at here. So this distance here is going to be probably about half the depth of the eye so from there to there will be similar to that so that's about that kind of distance isn't it so that's what I'm looking at that kind of gives me that guide for where it's darker above the eye it's by the side of the face you'll find that around the side here it's quite dark so it kind of nearly blends in nearly not quite but nearly blends in with the side of the face there doesn't it as you can see so I'm going to come around to here, trying to see where it's darkest. So where we've got the white patch of the mouth here, it gets a little bit darker. Let's bring a few more through there, actually. It gets, <laughs> gets a little bit darker, as in blacker, should I say, around this area, then gradually gets lighter as it goes along. So I'm going to put a few darks in here. Not many, though. Olive green. Put in there, just a little bit of that. And... I think finally, before it dries, just a tad of that blacky brown colour we've got. But it's quite watery, the one I've got. So blacky brown, just add that in in places, not too much because it's going to really deaden it otherwise. 
we'll be using some of that for the um, for the detail work anyway. And there you go. Right, we need to give this a quick dry, and once it's dry, we're going to start thinking about getting some detail work over the top of it. Very lightly, put a line along the side of that line. So imagine the light catching that piece of wood or that piece of bark that could be sticking out a little bit. So that's what goes through my head when I'm thinking about this. I'm thinking, well, that could be stuck out there, and that could be stuck out there, and so on. So again, I'll continue this down, and um, we'll get this uh, this bit of bark, this tree, painted. So skim, skim around, don't cut it all too much, and uh, we'll get cracking on that. So there you go, that's how to paint a raccoon in watercolour. And this is nearly three hours of watercolour tuition. Now if you fancy having a go at one of my watercolour lessons for free, I've got one on there just for you on how to paint a robin in watercolour. Now if you enjoyed this video, please click on subscribe down below. And if you think this is just the right thing for you to learn how to do, to be able to access dozens of video lessons, just click on become a patron and I'll see you there.